afternoon campsters. Probably from the uh, the intro there, you'll have guessed that I'm at Lady Bower Reservoir again. Um, I haven't done a camp here in a while. I've come here because it's a beautiful place to be and the scenery is awesome and it gets me out of the woods and away from all the midges because as soon as you travel a bit further up into the woodland, like behind me if you have a look, as soon as you travel a bit further up there, uh, there's a bit of a breeze and it gets rid of all the midges. I'll spin you around and that's what I'm looking at. beautiful place to be so yeah I saw a couple of videos of people I watch English woodsmen and Oscar outdoors they came here and they got turfed off <laughs> um, an English woodsman says ah oh, no more camping at Lady Bar Reservoir they're using drones and farms are kicking people off and whatnot um, well I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna make this video just to show that you can camp at Lady Barrow Reservoir, you just gotta know where to go. So this is a local area area to me, so I I know it like back of my hand. But you cannot pitch up on the side of the reservoir, anywhere near water. It is a very, very well maintained trout fishery. Um very well maintained, very well patrolled, very well looked after. If anyone sees you from the fishery, which is just over the reservoir. I don't know if you can see it from here, hang on. No, you can't. Anyway, just down there is where you get all your gear from, your boats and all that stuff. If anyone sees you hanging a hammock or whatever in down there near, uh, near the actual reservoir, they're going to think you're poachers straight away. And they are going to turf you off. Now, as for using drones, yeah, fair enough halfway up, whatever, but no one's using a drone from this path that I'm on now up to where I'm going because you just, you, you can't there's no possible way of doing it I'm going to prove that tonight by camping there and I'll catch you in a bit and then we'll have a nice good camp at Lady Barrow Reservoir yeah, so this video is just about showing you whereabouts to wild camp at Lady Barrow Reservoir um, and hopefully English Woodsman and Oscar Outdoors can revisit and have the experience that I have every time I'm here but it is a bit of a hike well it's a good hike actually there's some, some massive hills to tackle but I'll bring you back halfway up have another little natter I ain't got a lot to eat today because it's 26 degrees it's boiling got, got knickers on lot so yeah we're gonna have a good summer camp solo one just me me and you and you lot not got a fantastic food because who wants to eat in this weather especially a cooked meal so i've just got a mug shot and some fruit and whatnot we're gonna get up some antics so this is where we need to start heading up so you head up these paths here and you get right onto the tops then you just follow it all the way around and I have to drop down into my secret spot, which I will show you in a bit. Yeah, so you keep heading up track, um, and then you get to a dirt track, a little gate, and then it just becomes a grass track from there and there's not really a path. So my advice to you, if you are camping at Lady Barrow Reservoir or wild camping, above all, keep it tidy, don't leave a mess and leave no trace as, as everyone says nowadays. And that's how it should be, because you don't want to be leaving shite everywhere for everyone else. And it puts a, a bad name on wild campers, so you can clean a bit up. Or take your own mess out, then that's good enough. But yeah, it ends up you end up on a little rocky track, and then you just follow this because this track runs parallel to the main path. But obviously we're a lot higher up now, 
and this is where it gets a bit remote so yeah perfect wild camping territory but i'll just spin you around and show you where we've climbed all right so this is the path we're on now it's very narrow and this eventually turns into no path at all but what we've done is come up here you can't really tell how steep it is on film but it's you don't walk up there obviously but the reservoir now is in the distance you can probably just see the shining of the water so yeah we climb that and then we carry on straight along here which is obviously running parallel like i've just said to the main path and into the jungle we've still got all that to climb yet it's all uphill it's all uphill and it's 26 degrees but i am training for my next long distance hike and i'm it's easy i can do it now um, not everyone can do it it takes a lot of training to get your your cardio to where you want it to be for a long distance hike i found anyway but once your cardio is there you can you like you can just go forever and that's how i feel now yeah i'm sweating i'm not breathing heavy um i'm just smashing it to be fair but yeah next week we're on yorkshire world's way again taking callum wood otherwise known as his grinning skull on youtube so check him out all right we'll get to camp or where we're going to camp and then uh, i'll bring you back but this path just goes forever now so i'll bring you back in a bit just while i've thought about it as well if someone does from the fishery stop you and say oh you can't camp around here where you're camping all that crap because i'm blatantly camping because i've got a just a crappy little roll mat stuffed to the side of my pack tents in bag like but if someone does ask you just say you're doing the edale skyline route because from lady Barrett reservoir you can walk basically anywhere to the roads in the peak district and there's loads and loads of campsites there all over the peak district so you could just say you're heading to a certain campsite and you're on a walk so then they'll feel silly for stopping you and asking what you're doing and also don't dress in camouflage gear this is about as camouflage as i like to get in peak district because we're not stealth camping we're just camping somewhere we're not really supposed to <laughs> Why? So yeah, we head up onto the tops and then follow the uh, little path round and then we'll be dropping down somewhere over there. So I'll bring you back in a bit. warm it's a warming i'm nearly at the point that i need to be at to drop down it is glorious and it's just i'm glad for the breeze up here because if it weren't for the breeze sweltering you'd literally sweat your nips off man but we're good so we'll get there i'm not going to set up straight away i'm going to sit chill out for a bit See if anyone else turns up, which they shouldn't do. I've camped here a few times. And that'll be that. I'm in one tigress again tonight. Brilliant little summer tent. Uh, I'll show you a proper... I'll show you around it properly this time. Because I didn't do it on the last video. So we're in a woodland. It was quite hard to pitch, but... Should be good tonight. So I'll show you what I'm rocking out. Right, so I'm here excuse the uh, windswept look so yeah i've got here um this is where i'll be camping around here nice and flat <laughs> yeah i'm looking forward to it beautiful summer camp i haven't been out in a proper summer camp for a few weeks so really looking forward to it what i don't like to see though is this 
which I'm going to show you in a bit. If you're going to, well now, if you're going to bother coming out wild camping, hiking this far, because it is quite a walk. Yep, if you're having a fire and whatnot, fair do's. I want round here because there's literally no point in this weather. But if you are having a fire, don't leave this. This is all, this is just goes against everything about leave no trace. So they've made a nice little stand look to cook whatever they were cooking on. Not tidied the fire up. And just left cans in it. Not on. Not on at all. On a lighter note though. Just tucked away in there. Is where I like to set my tent up and camp. Beautiful bit of flat ground there. So that's where I'll be setting the one tigress up tonight. So these two have just creeped through the woodland. They don't give a shit that I'm here at all. The best thing about this one tigress tent is, oh shit in hell, I nearly fell over again. <laughs> so you can have the exterior door wide open. It's pegged to the floor there and you can just roll it up and you can just see out. Obviously you can, you can do your bug net up so no bugs can get in and you can just lay there and look out. Uh, shit loads of room in there. I will show you more when I get in there tonight. But yeah, loving this tent so far. It's the One Tigress TP Nova uh, backpacking tent. And it is good, really good. So that is what it looks like from behind. Um, it does look thin with the, su with the sun shining on it, but it is a ripstop material. It's really strong material. Um, I'm just in love with it at a minute. What a tent for summer camping that is. It's only a single skin tent, but that's all you need for summer camping. And it's just a pleasure. It's a pleasure to put up and it's a pleasure to carry because it doesn't even weigh a kilo. It's awesome. So I'm just going to show you how camouflaged the tent is. Obviously that's the clearing that I've been sat in all day. So if you're walking down this way. There's no way of anyone spotting you unless they're, especially in the dark, unless they do that. In between two massive fir trees, I can't beat it. But yeah, we'll have a look later on when it is dark and uh, see what we can see from there. So that is my view from inside the tent. Absolutely glorious. Who says you can't camp at Lady Barrow Reservoir? Just having tea with my mate. Where is he? Where is he? Right, we're just having tea together. David! David! 
Dave. Dave. Yeah, so he just told me his name's Dave. He hangs around. He hangs about round here. Just eating grass and shit. Dave, you alright? Come on then. Here he comes. Oh. Alright, Dave. Yeah, so David's a local around here. Um, I'm a bit scared he's going to headbutt me at a minute. But well, nice, alright, Dave. In a bit. See you later. Right then, sleeping arrangements. Um, OEX Evolution 400 sleeping bag. The Carrymore Sabre SF 45 litre rucksack with outside pockets because it's summer, obviously. What I do then is just get in my sleeping bag. I use the the cushion part, the back part of my rucksack as a pillow. It saves you carrying a pillow. And then that's me. OX Evolution 400 sleeping bag. Carry more say before your pillow. And then underneath, just a thermal roll mat. Simple roll mat. Then as we get in, So I'm on my bed now, obviously that's the door. In that corner I keep all my bits and bobs that I'm going to need through the night, chargers and whatnot, uh, tripod, all that sort of shit. Down here, nothing. Obviously I take my boots off, chuck them outside. And then I've got a lot of room there. If I lean back in the tent now. I've got a whole world of room in here. That's why I like the tent so much. So yeah, that's my sleeping arrangement. Sorry for that lighting guys, but it's bedtime. Trail cam's up, midges are out, um, and that's about it. So I will bring you back in the morning. We'll tidy that fire up. We'll collect the trail cam and we'll We'll see what's been appertaining. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've watched this far, you might as well hit the subscribe button, like, share, tell everyone about the channel if you like it. If you don't, don't bother. Right. Catch you in the morning. Wild Campus UK. Morning, campsters. Slept like a log. Oh, beautiful night's sleep. That's just what me up though. David and his mates fucking, oops, swearing. David and his mates missioning about outside the tent. Not a drop of condensation in here, anywhere. Nothing. Brilliant tent for summer camping. Keep saying it. About quarter past eight, really can't be asked to get up, so I'm just going to lay here and look out for a bit. Oh, I drank all my water, so I need to go fill the sub. And then I'll be walking back. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave this video here, because I've done a lot of filming, it's probably about three hours long. So yeah, like I say guys, thanks for watching. Um, Big Cats episode will be next. I just thought I'd come out and do a little... Just a chill camp. So yeah, Big Cats episode will be next. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Wild Campers UK.